Welcome to Trending Places. Today we will take you to Bukchong Hanok village to know the historicity of this Korean village. If you're considering visiting South Korea, especially the capital city of Seoul, Bukchong Hanok village is a must-see for anyone who wants to experience life in Seoul more than 600 years ago. The Seoul Metropolitan Government performed a poll in November 2011 with a sample size of about 2,000 visitors. The tourists replied that their fourth favorite activity in Seoul was strolling around the small but lovely alleyways of Bukchong. The community has been highlighted on television shows, which has increased the amount of tourists. It is estimated that 600,000 people visited Bukchong Hanok village in 2012. A traditional Korean neighborhood with a long history, Bukchong Hanok village is situated in Seoul between Gyeongbok Palace, Changyeok Palace, and Jongmyo Royal Shrine on top of a hill. There are numerous lanes in a traditional village. It is well recognized that walking is the most effective approach to discover a city or neighborhood. Walking guarantees that the period of observation and experience is slowed down. The Bukchong Hanok village was the ideal location for a walking exploration. You can even purchase a walking map of Bukchong Hanok village for a hassle-free experience. You are welcome to pause for whatever long you like to admire the surroundings and the architecture of the numerous homes and buildings located in this area. There are various walking tours available in this area as well, and the guides can speak your language to provide you with a more thorough and in-depth description of the location. The five neighborhoods of Jaedong Gea Dong, Insidong, Gaho Dong, and Wonsio Dong are supposed to make up the Bukchong area. During the Hoseon dynasty, the residences of the nobles, senior administrators, and additional officers were situated in these neighborhoods. After catastrophes like wars, the region was settled by regular people. There are many Hanok restaurants in the hamlet as well, which offer traditional cuisine and tea in an atmosphere reminiscent of the Hoseon dynasty. There are also many fascinating cultural institutions and museums in this area. You wouldn't regret visiting Bukchong Hanok village without paying any entrance fees, for sure. Numerous cultural institutions and museums in Bukchong Hanok village present Hoseon dynasty culture. It is a distinctive example of the architecture and manner of life from that dynasty. One of Seoul's top attractions, it also offers a contrast between the modern and traditional sides of the city. The Bukchong Traditional Culture Center, 
A halo that contains a complex within it aims to shed light on the values, history, and social norms of the village. Handicraft, Buga, an exhibition of a Bukchan Hano, culture in the hall, and a tea ceremony are among the daily events scheduled. A variety of cultural seminars are also held. The city of Seoul and the Bukchong Cultural Center have contributed to the organization of these seminars. It started operating as a private museum in 2002. The Gahon Museum is home to more than 1500 antiquities, including 250 paintings by folk artists, 750 amulets, 150 classic books, and 250 other cultural objects. Numerous exhibitions are held in the main exhibition hall, which showcases historic elements of the Hoseon dynasty. The Gaho Folk Painting Workshop, one of the more well-known seminars held here, teaches individuals how to paint in the folk art aesthetic. Many curious people travel there to see the wonderful antiques on display. 200 masterpieces of Chinese art, 150 pieces of current Korean art, and 2,500 antique Hoseon era papers are on show in the Bukchong Asian Art Museum. It provides a look at the Hoseon era's aesthetics and cultural values as well as how those aesthetics and styles have changed through time. Keep watching. Hope you like the video. We have more than 150 videos on trending places. Do like and subscribe. Keep watching.